Hey John from Fat Stacks here. In this uh, video series I'm going to show you exactly how I set up my niche blogs uh, that generate a decent amount of display ad revenue and uh, I'm just going to kick off here with uh, just some screenshots of my October 2014 display ad revenue. Uh, AdSense a little under 94,000 and Media.net is a little over 8. The reason I'm uh, doing this video series is to get a lot of questions about well, exactly how do you set up your sites. I use a, a particular theme and the reason I do this is because I've tested a lot of themes and it just happens to work really well and one of the videos will explain that in detail. So check out the videos to step you right through from domain registration, WordPress install, theme install and how I actually set up the blog itself. Moving along here, I'm in my Bluehost account. I'm going to show you how to set this up on Bluehost Shared Hosting. Uh, I started, um, I start almost every website, regardless of how grand of plans I have for it, with Bluehost because it's very inexpensive. Uh, you can have multiple uh, sites on one account, and so that's a really inexpensive way to see if something's going to work out. And if it if it becomes a big hit, then I will migrate it over to more robust hosting. But I definitely recommend starting off with shared with Bluehost. I've been using them for years. It's very inexpensive, easy to set up as you'll see. So the first step we need to do is we need to register a domain. You don't have to use Bluehost for your domain at all uh, registration. I do just because it, it's a little bit more, but uh, it's just easier, faster when it's here. So I'm going to register a domain here, and we're going to do uh, Fat Stacks Demo. I've checked already that it's available. So then it comes up and it'll show you all your different uh, options here. We want the .com definitely. So we just uh, click that, go to next. And we're part of the checkout process here. You have some options here. You can choose privacy or not. I generally do. And you obviously will want to automatically renew because uh, the last thing you need in 12 months is for you to lose your site just because you didn't do that. You do have to proactively click that agree and then you add it to cart. We're pretty much done here getting this domain registered. So we are in the cart, the final checkout. All you got to do is input your little credit card code there and then hit process order. And that's it. We're done. Thank you for your purchase and you can manage your add-on product. So I'll wrap this video up at that point, just domain registration. Uh, carry on, you'll see how I have to get the domain assigned in the account and then uh, set up the whole site with WordPress and the theme. 